all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Devon, us to Apostle Elders in New York, GMS, and um, salutation to Yahweh around the world is teaching truth, bring your lives on the line for it. Shalom to you, serious Aqua. My name is Maya Kaala. Burn Gad, what you call called Burn Chuck Great Millstone. Like I make a disclaimer that we're not black, Hebrew Israelites. Black is a color, not a nationality. The Israelites are the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, speckled birds scattered abroad. Speckled birds are Israelites who look like other nations, but their fathers, paternal bloodline, go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, so, um, you know, the, um, you know, I had some things that uh, I didn't get a chance to show, and plus, uh, you know, Spirit had me jump on um, this topic again. So, <clears throat> you know, this is, um, you know, um, uh, original videos, uh, you say you're not an Israelite, but prove it. All right, so I guess this is the revisit it or part two, whatever, right? So I'm going to play again where this uh, Gadai woman named Naga, all right? She was a member of the um, African Hebrew Israelite. She went all the way up to Israel, followed this man. <clears throat> Stella had, has, you know, some damn sis in her head. And read the scriptures that we, uh, we uh, the 12 tribe of Israel, not posted as a whole nation, as a whole nation of um, Yashala, Israel. You know, the queer way say Yashala, he prays her power. All right. Um, that we weren't supposed to go over there yet. You know, we're supposed to wait on, on Yahweh. All right, the sin of son, yeah, I was shot when everybody knew called Jesus and the hundred four four thousand the elect among each twelve tribes of Israel and the and the, the angel those that's in the um those chariots. All right, instead of doing that, she went over there, got stuck. All right, got bamboos on everything, and um, she got in debt. All right. Now she's calling to, uh, well, she's been calling uh, the Digits One show. So now they brought the video talking about 45 no families get put up, but 40, it got to be a let them on the 45, the let of uh, Israel, the 101, 101,000 among the 45 families because the Yahweh about to blow that place up. But <clears throat> the thing that um, aggravated me is um, what she's about to say. All right, well, I'm gonna play again. I'm gonna play it for the video. All right, it said copyright disclaimer on the Sesh 107 card ad. I said allowance made for your purpose, fair use for purposes such as criticism, common news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. All right, so this is uh, comment, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. So I that made a profit off this video clip. I do not own the video clip, this was for educational purpose. I also gonna play a video clip of uh, GMS Mississippi. All right, so I'm gonna play both the clips for educational reasons. All right, so uh, let me go ahead. You can see what she said again. All right, so it's right here. Um, it's high time that we just know who we are. Okay, it's high time for these Hebrews to really know who they are, so they would know where they should be and what they should be doing. Um, you know, we, we can't, um, just be trying to, um, you know, the whole, the bottom line is we can't, um, try to, um, stay somewhere that we migrated to and just leave our home and, um, our ancestors home and our parents home thinking um, we could go somewhere where no one wants us and expect us to be okay, expect them to treat us right and everything when they haven't. Right. And it's just, yeah, I, I just don't understand why um, this is not clicking with these people over here, these Hebrew Israelites. They so brainwashed and brain dead into that Bible that they can't see nothing else. You know, this should be a wake up call. You know. So, so how how was how was the war? How was the all right? Now they, they uh going off by being over there. 
All right, but by them knowing that your slice, they not going off. All right. <clears throat> They're not going on by knowing they there is lights. All right. Oh. Uh, and she got, you know, this uh, uh all right. So yeah, so now she supposed to be Cherokee. But she don't know this, all right? Uh watch out. Let me see, uh All right, this is the book of, uh, let me see, where it said, matter of fact, Cherokee, she thinks she not, there's a light, all right, so right here, and I don't want this thing, this for those that, uh, wants to get it, you know, this is one restaurant, they, they don't get it, right, that guy missile food, man, <laughs> I right, ain't no getting this land back and everything. You know, America been conquered. Like I said, they got the military bases. They got all the f factories. They got the the, the sports, sports stadiums all over the place. The colleges, high schools, communities, all that stuff, man. Your land been conquered, been taken, man. You ain't getting it back. Even the land you think ain't getting it back. The Esau land, the state owns that land, man. All right, you don't, you don't own a damn thing, man. All right, uh. So here, Cherokee, all right, said the name, all right, and Yuwia, and Yuwia, so I'll say I'm familiar with the Cher Cherokee, go part, well, I have it in my, um, within my father's maternal line, all right, you know, so, uh, but anyway, um, anyway, it says, uh, Many theories though I'm proven about origin name Cherokee it may be originally derived from the competitive tribes, for instance, Choctaw, uh Chalaki means people who live in the mountains. Choctaw Chaloke Ikabi means people who live in the K country. All right, it says uh where is it? And you uh, all right, Salak. I'll pass over so I'll be reading again. It said Cherokee language name for Cherokee people is and you are translating the principal people. All right, principal people. What did the, the word principal mean? Go up in here. All right. Principal definition. All right, first in order of importance, main. All right, the person with the highest authority, the most important position, organization, institution, or group. Okay. All right, so what it says in scripture about the nation of Israel. All right. If I go to Deuteronomy 14. All right. Deuteronomy 14, 2, it said, Ye are the children of Israel. Shot slot, ye are the children of Yahweh. Your power, you shall not cut yourselves, nor make any balls between your eyes for the dead. For thou art our holy people until Yahweh thy power. And Yahweh had chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all nations that are upon the earth. All right? Holy means separate. All right, it said unto you how thy power, you have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all people that are upon the earth. All right. So I mean for you know most I had you have a chosen, you are a chosen people. All right. First, most important. It said how it says right here, above all nations that are upon the earth. All right. So that's what it means. All right. That's supposed to be Cherokee. You don't know it, all right? So, all right, it says right here. This is the book, uh, The Ten Tribes of Israel. You can see iconoclasm right here, all right? Because this guy, I believe, he's uh, Mohawk, right? He lighting his picture up. All right, brother, super dark. I, I, showed, I showed the original picture of him um, before, all right? But it's the book, uh, Ten Tribes of Israel by Timothy R. Jenkins. All right, 
it says uh it says right here a gentleman who's ohio in the year 18 in the year salah in the year of sect if it's assured um this is page 101 it's a lot just bear with me that's the way i took that picture yeah all right it says a gentleman who's at the Ohio in the year 1756 assured a writer that he saw a strange there are very important to view inside of the Cherokee Ark. Right? So they had their own very Ark of Covenant, which covered with a dressed deerskin placed on a couple of short blocks of wood. An Indian Sentinel watched it, armed with a hickory bow and brass pointed bar arrow, and he was faithful to his trust. For finding the stranger obtruding with apparent determination pollute the supposed sacred vehicle, he drew his arrow to the head and would have shot him through the body had he not suddenly withdrawn. He said the leader of virtue asked a part of a priest of war pro temper in an imitation of Israel, like found under the divine military baron of old. The Indians went out cohabit with the women while they're out at war. They religious stain from every kind of intercourse, even their own wives. For the space of three days and nights before they go out to war, so after they return home, because they are, they are to sanctify themselves. So Josh commander is the night before they they march to sanctify themselves by washing their clothes, avoiding all impurities, avoid all uh, matrimonial intercourses. It says when the Indians return home victorious over him, they sing the triumph song to Yo Yo Hewa, which is Yahweh, right? Yahweh, all right? Ascribing. Uh, the victory to him, like religious custom, the Israelites who were commanded always to attribute success in war, in in a war to uh, in a war to it's not Jehovah Yahweh, no letter J Yahweh, and not to the swords and to their arrows. All right, this is page one hundred one of the book Ten Tribes of Israel. All right, these the guys are clowns, man. All right, carry this is one and and uh, they'll. Absolutely, woman. All right. Anyway, it says, um, this is page 114. All right. It says, Mr. Uh, Betty gives much the same account of the prophets among the Delaware nations or tribes above 100, above, uh, about 118 years ago. They consult the prophets upon any historical occasion as in a great uncommon sense of mor uh, mortality, etc. This, he says, seemed to be an imitation of Jews of old, a crowd of the prophets. Ishtoholo is the name of their, their great beloved men. And a part of all of the sins inherited to the el elders. All right. It cannot be expected, but the dress of the old Indian high priest would rather get a great beloved man, the first and the oldest among the beloved men. It should be different from that, the high priest of Jews, the poverty, distress, condition, and the Indian renders. Such a conformity impossible, notwithstanding the case of green, really astonishing considering the circumstances and their having no means of knowing what it was, but what tradition deprived of all records related to it. Before the Indian Archimagus or high priest officiates, this is just like in the Levitical high priest, officiate making supposedly fire for the year of atonement as a sin, <laughs> for the year of atonement as a sin, as soon as be shown. Uh, um, he clothes himself with a white garment resembling the ephod of the Jews, made full of finely dressed deer skin and doe skin. It is waistcoat without sleeves. And when he entered the solemn duty, a beloved attendant spreads the white dress bus skin on the white seat, which stands close to the supposed holiest division or place of worship, then puts some white beads on it. They are offered by the people. All right, the archer maggot wraps around his shoulder a uh, consecrated skin of the same sort, which Reaching across on his arms, he ties behind his back with two knots on his legs in the form of the figure eight. Instead of going barefoot, he wears a new pair of white buckskins made by himself. All right, so go right here. This page, uh, one fifteen. All right, it says, "Sold with the sinews of the animal." He paints the upper part on across the toes with a few streaks of red made with a red root, which is their symbol of holy things as vermin of the war. These shoes he never wear at any time and leaves them with the other parts of the pontified dress where the service are over his beloved place. In resemble the sacred breastplate, the Americans taught the uh, tribal gas, so-called um, American Indians, Native American Aboriginal, you know, 
It says the, the Americans wear a breastplate made of white conch shell with two holes born in the middle of it, though he puts in the end of the otter skin strap fastened a white buck's horn button to outside each of it as an imitation of precious stones and urethermal, which racket blades on the high priest's breast. The uh, unerring word, the Van Oracle, instead of plates so of gold, which he wore on his forehead with the words holy or separate to, to uh, Yahweh. The annual wears around his temple a sit a reef of swan feathers, a large piece of swan skin dubbed as only a uh, fine snowy down appears on each side in likeness of a tear or a former. The latter wears a crown on his head, tough or white feathers, which they call yacht crop. But the, the, the meaning of the word is not known. He also has a number of blunt wild turkey cocks spurred towards the toes of moxie and resuming the bales of the Jewish high priest worn on his coat of blue. All right, so there you go. So no more evidence. All right, this is page one twenty two. It says, uh, "At an ancient missionary who lived a long time, the Ottawa uh, has written that among the savages, the old man performs the office of the priest of feast. They begin by giving thanks to the Great Spirit uh, for the success of the chase and hunting time. Another taste of cake breaks in two and casts a fire, and this wraps." Uh, wraps of 80 years ago, right? If you read Mark uh, 8 and 6, how shall I get thanks to Yahweh for the eating meal, man? All right? It says, um, and also, they, they do it at, uh, after meal, too. Read that in Deuteronomy 8, 8 and 10. All right? It says, Dr. Betty said once a year, some of the tribes of Indians beyond Ohio chose among themselves 12 men who go out and provide 12 deer. Each of them cuts a small sapling from um, uh, from which they strip the bark to make a tent by sticking one end in the ground and hand the tops of another, covering the poles with blankets. Then twelve choose each of them with a stone. They make it hot and fire and place them together, altar the matter of out together, altar the matter of altar within the tent will burn fat inside a deer, inside a deer during at the time they are making this offering. The men within cry. To the Indians without who attended, is um, as worshipers we pray or praise, they without answer we hear. Then those in the tent cry, "Ho, ho, ha!" Very loud, loud, appear to be something like "Hallow, hallelujah." Was uh, um, it says uh, "Hallo, hallo, ya, All right, praise Yahweh, hallo, uh, Yahweh, hallo, Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, all right? He said, after the fat does offer some some uh, tribes burn tobacco, cut the fine upon the same stone, suppose imitation of incense. Other tribes choose only 10 who have but 10 deer, 10 sound poles, 10. All right, so why would they do that, man? All right? It do what for all, all 12 tribes, all right? Those at the 10, if you really use your, you know, use your noggin, the 10 tribes, the Nordic kingdom, all right? He came over here to the Americas, according to Second Second Ezra thirteen thirty nine of forty eight. Okay, and the and the and the, and the, the so called Indians or American Indians, the Aboriginal, they uh are descendants of them, man. All right, there's no denying this, man. All right, this is all right. It says, um, like there is lights, they believe their sins are procuring cause of all evils. And that divinity in the ark will always bless the religious party with the best success. This is their variable sentiment and the sole reason for mortifying themselves in a severe manner while they are at war, living very scantily, even in Buffalo Range, on the strict rule that lust of their hearts that should grow evil. And give occasion to, uh, oh, all right. All right, so, uh, all right. It says, uh, Dr. Betty, who were in Delaware Nation so long, informed the writer of this present, there was a great meeting in the nation consulting a provision to go war with a neighboring nation. At this time, they killed a buck, roasted as a can of sacrifice on 12 stones, would they not suffer any tool instrument to be used? That did they, that they did not eat the middle joint of that, and short to short, the writer that he was astonished to find some of these Jewish covered around among them began to conclude that some defended between them and the Jews because they are just like, all right, he said, the Muskie Indians, all right, the Muskie Indians sacrifice a piece 
of every deer they kill at the hunting camp in their home, the latter they dip the middle finger in the broth and sprinkle over their domestic tombs of the dead to keep them out of power. Evil spirits, according to Matthias, this seem to proceed from this knowledge through the corrupt Hebrew law sprinkling the blood. All right, go to the little Levites, all right? All right, because they are the Israelites, man. I mean, does it? I mean, come on, man. All right, it says, uh, page 92. All right, it says the uh, record time the amount of Hebrew they divide the year, the spring, some autumn, fall, and leaf, and winter. Korah. Korah is the word for winter with Cherokee in it, as it with the Hebrews. The number of the years in the four periods where they had no, no name for a year, they subvide these, they count the year by lunar months, months like the Israelites who count by moons, they call the sun and the moon by the same word with addition of day and night, day, sun, moon, night, sun, moon. They count the day by sensible terrence of sun. Hebrews, as the sun coming out midway, the sun is dead. Sunset, Mid midnight is halfway between the sun going in and coming out of water. Also by midnight and cock crowing. <laughs> All right. So it says, uh, 77 saying, the soft, the Indians are tall, the red robots, their limbs. All right, it's page 77. All right, it says, uh, it said the Indians, it said the soft the Indians are tall, red, robust, their limbs are well shaped. So Jim to form perfect human figure. They delight in painting themselves, especially red or vermin color. They are remarkably, remarkably vain. <laughs> Suppose themselves to be suppose themselves the first people on the earth. The five nations call themselves Onigo Honwe. Onuga Honwe. That is when men surpass all others. The only beloved people, the great spirit, and his peculiar people. All right. So they know, man. Seven do like the the principal people, right? Cherokee, right? All right, the Anu Anu uh, Anuia, all right. They know the Israelites, man. All right, it says um, page one ninety seven. It said Reverend uh, Ethan Smith of Vermont relates that in eighteen fifteen, a Mark Merritt, a person of old respect, character about eleven a mile near his resident in Indian Hill, discovered a strap about six inches in length and one and a half in breadth at each of it. It was a loop part of a purpose of care. He found that it was composed of two pieces of thick raw hat so it made air tight as soon as some animal. In the fold would contain four pieces of parchment. One of the pieces was torn the trees by some neighbor who came to see them. The other three was sent to Cambridge and found to have been written with, with a pen in Hebrew Plain a letter, the writing was quotation on the sixth chapter of Deuteronomy from the fourth to the sixth verse, inclusive. Also, the eleventh chapter, thirteen to the twenty first instance, inclusive. After this thirteen chapter, eleven to sixteen verse, inclusive, to which the scripture that the Jews wrote on the phylacteries and wore upon their foreheads and upon the wrists of left arm. Josiah Priest tells us that it is related by Dr. West that an old Indian for him that his father had been possession of a book they carried with them for a long time but having lost knowledge of reading they buried within the um buried with an indian chief all right so you you know you like to scream that this book or this is foreign and anything they don't believe yes they do man we always you know they the uh, ancestors already did have the bible man those ancestors that was already here in america and those that, that came from uh spain portugal and africa west africa man all right we had this, we had the Bible, man. All right. All right, it says right here, um, this is the book of The Lost Worlds in Ancient America, page 101. It says, uh, Menorah spread out through a diaspora, June community located Key Hart, Mediterranean, to Catan, Aragon, the Arabian Peninsula, this lands, including North America. Ancient carvings of menorahs have been found on the canyon walls in Arizona, in Michigan, and in New York State. The symbol carried across the Atlantic Ocean from ancient harbors such as Cicero, Dr. Dor, Jaffa, Katra, our very reports. None of these menorahs had triangle, triangle base except in Dr. Ruth's discovery. The menorah with triangle base carved on stone found in Catskill Mountains could only have been carved by someone who has seen or known a very ancient association of sacred tree asteroid. This is a menorah, no damn tree asteroid. Uh, I'm going to skip down. It says skip to this. I suggest that this engraving is a rare relic from the ancient Islamic period dating to the early um, early Iron Age. Uh, it says a support rock art menorah was found carved in the canyon wall in Arizona. 
All right. And so, you know, I'm uh, familiar with uh, Gaddis in the West, Arizona, uh, Arizona, California. Like one of my uh, former students, he was from the Tiwa. Uh, he's raised the Tiwa Nation. His cousin was a uh, of uh, was uh, Dene. Uh, the people uh, even say uh, uh, Apache. As a matter of fact, he was very dark skinned here, woolly hair. All right, so this is the picture of the menorah in Cascade Mountain. You can see it. All right, you see the seven branches, all right? It says, menorah among the most of produced art of Jewish ceremony, all right? Uh, Jewish ceremony art, the seven branches, uh, kind of is a traditional symbol of Judean use in the ancient temple, all right? All right, you can see it right here, man, all right? So, you know, this ain't no gangs, man, all right? This is right here. This is another book, uh, on Earth in uh, H America, all right, and the author of both the books I'll, I'll bring out is Joseph, uh, Frank Joseph, right? This is in Michigan. It says the word discovery signified to catch eyes that possibly objects are what they uh, be. Then progress on particular interests, modern history may be advanced, but ways of advance may achieve in ancient culture, including great museums. All right, but anyway, the menorah petrograph. All right, in uh, Michigan, Pierre Story, Michigan. All right. All right, so a lot of people are just like, man. All right, there's no, no getting, no getting. All right, this is from uh, the Hope of Israel. All right, it says, uh, page 117. Uh, let me see down here. It seems to me the purpose which are. Uh, Garcalisco uh, de, la, de la Vega said his comrade on Peru, this is Dana Ash, that in, uh, I forgot to pronounce his name, it's a lot. Uh, Tia, Tia, uh, Tia Naku. I hope I pronounced it right. It said, in a province of Cali, among the antiquities worth of memory, being situated in a lake with the Spaniards called uh, Chicu, 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 they are among the great buildings, which are that's a lot. I pronounce that wrong, right? So one was to be seen a very great power, which had a court of fifteen fathoms. All right, uh, fathoms brought a wall that could pass it. Two furlongs have one side. One side of uh, of the court is a chamber forty five foot long, twenty two broad court. The wall uh, pavement. Uh, wall on uh, the wall, the pavement, the chamber, the roof of the entrance, the post. Uh, the two gates of the chamber and entrance one made it only one stone, one three sides, a thick Indian say that the house is dedicated to the maker of the world. All right, so it goes to the ass. Uh, these people in Peru, they the tribe of Asher, you know, like the you, uh, people in Abu, like the Matom, the Sky Day. Well, yeah, they believe in the Sky Day. All right, this is before Esau came along, man. Esau, so called white man. All right, the Spaniards came down there, they. They're cool minions, all right? They turn on their own people. All right, it says on um, 119. Uh, let me see. Let me see, 119. All right, so I'll start with this, 118. I said, the Indians of Yucatan of uh, Akazuma circumcised themselves. All right, yeah, no, okay. the toes in New Spain and Mexicans as in um, rend their garments if there happening some misfortune there, Gregorio Garcia, all right, say that the going public right here and that, that, uh, what is this? All right, that, uh, let me get this. This is, Antipuga fled for the fear of the army, his enemy rent his clothes garments, all right? So just like Jake, in the ancient Israel, man, they are Jake. The Mexican Toto, the, the Totans, or the Toten, Total Kazinas kept fire continuing upon the altar as God commanded Leviticus. Those of Peru do the same attempt to to the sun. All right, the Negro Rosal forbid, uh, all right, uh, ain't going off worship the sun. That happened in Israel too. They worship, you know, worship the sun. It said the Negro Rosal says, Zebulon forbid their women lately brought. All right, let's see, uh, let's see, 19. Brought to bed. 
enter the temples till they are purified. See that? <laughs> the habits of his father think that those who sin will lie with a woman a little after her childbirth. See that? All right. It's, all right. All right. It says, um, and the Indians of New Spain do severely punish sodomy. All right. So those sodomites, man. All right. No. All right. It says, um, many of the Indians bury their dead on the mountains, which is also a Jewish custom. Garcia says the name Canaan is found in those countries. Okay. All right. You may wonder it with this. The Indians. Every 50 years, celebrate a jubilee with great pomp in Mexico, the metropolitan, the whole promise. Also, that on Shabbat, on Shabbat, Shabbat, they are bound to be present in the before and sacrifice ceremony. They were also divorced from the wives if they were not honest. The Indians of Peru, all right, Asher, New Spain, this is Issachar, right? New Spain, Mexico, and Guatemala, Zebulon, did marry the widows of their dead brethren. May you not judge for the things that the Jews live in no places and that the Gentiles learn such things of them. This is page 119, man. All this goes in the scriptures, man. This is what ancient Israel did, man. All right. Guys, a bunch of damn clowns, man. All right. You all aboriginal. You people in the African original movement, man. I like to say all people in all the Israelites, man. A bunch of damn clowns who like to claim things and don't even... Uh, Show no evidence, and you don't know the scriptures, all right. You don't know the scriptures, man. You try to go to that uh service, obey your master, they ain't talking about obeying your uh uh so called white masters, man. All right, and I dare you, I dare you make a video trying to bring those scriptures. I'll tell you what, man. All right, but anyway, this is uh numbers 1538. All right, it said borders of fringes and borders of blue. You see right here in the Seneca, you got it. Um, like a, a belt strap, right? 1850. All right. This is from 1850, man. There's many garments, all right? All right, showing that, all right? Now, they like to cry, talking about anything. It says, man, this is the one of the main reasons our people brought down the, the Annie Wheel, all right? And not all uh, Cherokees. Cher Creeks, all those sold out, man. You always had some in, you know, turncoats, man. All right, it says right here. I forgot what book this is because it's been like a long time ago, man. This, this research go back to like 2008, 2009, 2011. So I forgot what book it is. If I remember, I'll bring it back. I get the title of it, you know, uh, when I come across it, right? It says, um, the Creeks is a guy frankly traveled from Georgia, Alabama to trade furs in Pentecostal, Florida. As a result, it was not unusual for the Creek women to marry white traders. They married Edomite traders, man. Actually, this is how European surnames became part of the Disney tribe. As Indian women married European men, names such as Ross, Bonnet, LeFleur, Johnson were not uh, unusual in Indian communities. In addition, these red men, I did not red and brown man. Red men, uh, women adopted the European style of dress and wear because they embraced settlers' ways too. Also, they married the uh, the Huguenots, all right, Uncle Tom, uh, Moors, and so far the Jews that came over, set up the trade, slave trade ports, enslaved their own people, all right, from West Africa, Spain, Portugal, and here in the Americas, all right, but. This is how many of uh, of uh, the Gadites, all right, the Gadites here in America have their nations, all right, and and you know, their nation or tra tribes, basically families got taken over, and you use look up these tribes today, and you you like you see a damn uh, you see an Edomite so called white man, all right, why well, could this what happen, all right. This proves you are uh, you are the seed of your father, man. And they, they cause all types of hell among these uh, nations, man. All right? Amongst these so-called American Indian nations, man. They're causing all hell, man. They're kicking out the uh, the descendants of the original, original uh, Crete, Cherokee, etc., etc., et cetera, man. They're kicking out Judites who have, uh, uh, who, uh, have blood ties. Of uh, with within uh, 
between the Creek or Cherokee or Satra nations, man, you know. Well, I mean, Satra means many various tribes, all right? Don't kick Jake out of there, man, all right? Because you got Edomites ruling. Really, they want to sponsor for the, their slavery, man, all right? It says, uh, well, partly of it, all right? Because you had coons from these tribes that let their doors marry their damn European traders, as well as whatever. And they, and they, they child and the child descent took over their nations, all right? This is uh, page six. Holliburn notes that, that the late 1700s, the Cherokees began intermarrying with whites, with Esau, and the mix, you know, such thing, mix, uh, man, they, they, they child Edomites, man. You ought to see your father. All right? And this is uh, one thing that you, you, uh, Aboriginal, see, you can't get to your damn head. Uh, this part of history, because your nationality can't, don't go by your mother. All right? Now, the foreigners you complain about that's on your land and everything and oppressing you and everything, here you go, one of them are planting the seeds, planting seeds among uh, uh, your, your tribes, all right? And you, you kicked out of your own houses, right? So your, your mother definitely don't determine your nationality or don't determine what tribe you come from because this is what Esau does. Esau planted seeds. He says, see, look, you uh your, your nationality go by your grandmother. And that's how they take over your nations, like I stated before, man. All right? It says right there, Halliburton notes by the late 1700s, the Cherokee began intermarrying with whites. Not white, they're red, man. They skin and translucent, they flesh and blood, so they're red, man. All right? It said they're, they're the real red, man. And the mixed blood Indians, any white, you know, says they miss these out Edomite tear. All right? Edom means red in ancient Hebrew is uh, Adawan. All right, red, all right. Became and remained the principal slave owners. These mixed bloods also emerged the wealthiest of the Indians. All right. All right. So, you know, there you go, man. All right. So that's how it took over. All right. All right. So, it proved that, that, uh, we are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Matter of fact, let me get this on Deuteronomy. Now, you devils, man, they took over the Cherokee, the Anuel people. All right, so prophecy on that. All right, so Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 44, it says, He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to them. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. All right? You know, so that's how, you know, that's the reason why. All this happened, well, because our people disobedient to your how. All right, you had yourself to blame, man. And, and grandma, who 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 standing grandma protesting and, and killing the, the, the damn devil, you know, and an absent minded father, all right, who allowed this devil to marry his daughter, all right. So, you know, our people, they just stay on fault that this happened. It says right here, Deuteronomy 28 15. But it should come to pass that thou will not hearken to the voice of how thy power to observe to do his commandments in the statute where I command thee this day, that all these curses should come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, that's why you're in trouble, man. All right, because you spread your legs for Esau, and that baby came out, he's an Edomite, and he took your nation. That child grew up, wrecked all types of havoc. His father wrecked all types of havoc, murdered, committed genocide against. The, the indigenous people of America, the Nordic Kingdom, right? Ten tribes of Israel to America and took over their lands and kicked them all, made fun of them, mocking them, stole their land, polluted the land, all right? And got your people living in, in the ghettos and the barrios and on the reservations, all right? This is your fault. But the good news is that this devil is going to be on our boot, all right? It says right here, this short, quick. It said Matthew, if you you know you want to, uh, not Matthew, Revelation. Uh, get this. Thirteen. And also one in Isaiah fourteen one and two. You can read that. Don't get this because it's quick. It said Revelation thirteen nine. It said, if any man have an ill letter him, he that lead in captivity should go in captivity. He that killed the sword must 
be killed with the sword. Here's the patient of faith for the saint, the saints are Israelites. According to Deuteronomy 31, according to Deuteronomy, um, go to uh, Deuteronomy 33, verse 1 to 5. It to identify with the saints, all they say the saints are the Israelites, all right? So, so called white man is going to go into captivity under the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And he's going to be brutal, brutally punished in the kingdom of the Israelites, Jeremiah 30, verse 16, all right? All right, so, you know, the Indigenous people in America are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. All right, the indigenous one, aka Carrie, he don't know what the hell he talking about. And and uh Naga Naga, whatever the hell her name is, that absent-minded woman. All right. Uh she'll know what she's talking about, man. All right. That's why she over there in Atlanta, Israel, stuck over there, man. All right, because she she been the uh the private of wisdom, like uh, all other Israelite women who not in this truth, according to Job chapter 39, verse 17. All right. And the and any time of those damn ostrich, man. All right. The ostrich animals go by instinct. They don't got no damn wisdom. All right. With all that, I hope you've been edified and uh shout out.